Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a very radical exponential equation. So we have the square root of x to the power square root of x equals x to the power 1 over square root of x. And we're going to be solving for x values. So this is going to be a short video, so let's get started. First of all, I'd like to write the square root on the outside as to the power 1 half. So let's go ahead and write this as x to the power square root of x to the power 1 half, which is the same thing as the square root. And then it's just going to equal what it is, x to the power 1 over square root of x. All right, there are some restrictions here. Obviously, we're going to talk about those along the way. If you multiply these two exponents, you get x to the power square root of x over 2. And on the right-hand side, we have what it is or we have what we have, and we get an equality like this. So now we have the same base, which is nice. So we can kind of talk about some of the special cases. For example, x equals 1 works, right? Because when you have the same base, and if the bases are 1, then the exponents really don't matter much, right? As long as everything is well defined. Uh, great, so we also notice that here x cannot equal 0 because it's going to make our expression undefined. We know that x cannot equal 0 and x equals 1 works. How about the opposite of 1, which is x equals negative 1? x equals negative 1 does not work. It does not work because it's negative. Notice that we have a square root of x. If we're looking for real values, looking for complex values is another whole thing. And we can just uh, eliminate that because it's negative. So x needs to be positive. x cannot equal 0, obviously. And now, at this point, x equals 1 works. So that's one of the solutions. And now we can proceed with the usual stuff. Since uh, two exponentials equal each other, uh, we're going to check their... Um, we already checked the bases, and they're equal. So exponents are going to be equal. We get square root of x over 2 equals 1 over square root of x. Cross multiplication gives us x equals 2. And that's actually a valid solution. So x equals 2 is another solution. Are there any other solutions? There aren't. Because if you think about it, uh, sometimes the exponents can be 0 and the bases don't matter. For example, you have 2 to the power 0 equals 3 to the power 0 because they're both equal to 1. But in this case, uh, the exponents cannot equal 0 if you look at it. Uh, even though x can be 0 on the left-hand side here, on the right-hand side, it's not allowed. Therefore, we don't have that case and 1 and 2 are going to give us pretty much all the solutions. Is there another way to look at this problem? Probably. Let's just go ahead and take a look if there's any alternatives. Uh, we could probably square root both sides. Let me rewrite the equation. Square root of x to the power square root of x equals x to the power 1 over square root of x. I can square both sides. That's going to give us x to the power square root of x equals x to the power 2 over square root of x. And then we can kind of set the, you know, bases equal to each other. We can raise both sides to the power square root of x. That's another approach, uh, you know, that I kind of like. Let's raise both sides to the power square root of x. But of course, you have to be careful about the domain here. x cannot equal 0 and x always needs to be positive. Under those conditions, we get x to the power x equals and the square root of x cancels out. As long as x does not equal 0, we get x squared. And this is kind of like an interesting equation because... Uh, obviously, x equals 2 is a solution, but x equals 1 is also a solution because 1 to the power 1 equals 1 squared. Now, this kind of brings us to an interesting point. Um, if you think about the graphs of x to the power x, it kind of starts at 0, but obviously it's not uh, well defined at 0. It kind of goes down and then it starts going up. And this is a point where you have the 1 comma 1 and it just increases from that point on. And you can kind of find the minimum point uh, by, you know, differentiating this function, setting the derivative equal to zero, so on and so forth. And you're gonna find, I, th I believe that is uh, one over e or something like that. Anyways, you get the idea, we can go ahead and do this. And then y equals x squared is just gonna be a parabola. And uh, it's just going to be, you know, uh, going like this. So we have a parabola. That kind of goes like, obviously, it's going to go over 1, 1 as well. But the idea is it's going to intersect the graph one more time, right? Because at 2, we also have another solution. Anyways, I just wanted to show you uh, what that looks like if you square both sides. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video.
Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.